Okay, you guys, we are going to play a name game activity. This activity will encourage your child to make eye contact with you. Uh -oh. um, we do have uh -oh. a special guest here today who <laughs> is present. <laughs> Hopefully she oh, won't be a big distraction. Oh, um, so name game number one, our main goal is to have Alea make eye contact and be able to uh -oh. interact when I yeah. call her name. Once I call her name <laughs> and she looks at me, I will praise her with a hug, a kiss, a tickle, or something fun and enjoyable for her. If she doesn't look at me, I will continue to try to have her look at me. I will get very, very low eye level and I hope you all can see and try to pay attention <laughs> to her eyes. When she does make that eye contact, because even if it's a little eye contact, you still go ahead and praise once her name is being called. Mr. Potato Head is down here. <laughs> and this is what we're playing with. Here you go. Ooh. So, where are you going? Come here. You don't want you don't want to play with your sister? Uh-oh, I knew it was going to be some kind of conflict. What's the matter? Okay. Oh, hair. Alea. Alea. Hi, my pretty girl. <laughs> Ooh. Can we put his hat on his head? Oh, you don't want Ayana to play? Alea, share. Look, good job. <laughs> High five, mommy. You looked at mommy. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, you guys. Game number two is when you disguise your voice and call your child's name. Once they look at you, you will definitely praise them. Simply them, reward them with um, less uh, exciting rewards. So don't start rewarding with um, treats, sweets, marshmallows, gummies, anything like that. So more of like um, physical, emotional kind of rewards. Mommy. Um, I see you looking at me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I see you, pretty girl. Ma, you showing mommy the stuff. Come here. Come over here so I can see. What do you have? Hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. I see you, Leia. Hello. Oh, good job. Leia, can you give mommy the eyes? Where's the eyes? Hey, mama. Yeah. Mama. Good job. Leia. <laughs> to share and play with little sis. No, 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 no. Hey, don't do that. That's not nice. Don't hit your sister. Can we leave this on your head, child? Let me put this bow up here. Honey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Game number three, you guys, is you want to um, 
say, where is Alea? Um, pretend like you're looking for her. Pretend like you don't uh, see her. Uh, oh, Raise up something uh, 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 and uh, 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 look under there as if you're looking for Alea. And where's Alea? Where's Alea? I don't see Alea. Where's Alea? Where is Alea? <gasps> Alea, are you under here? Okay, so game number four is a game that I pretty much use at a distance. I will wave my hands in the air. I will call her name, call her name, and when she looks at me, I will do the praise. When she stops looking at me, I will stop doing the praise. And that note is for um, all of the games, game one, two, three, and four. So these are four games that you can incorporate um, with your child who has autism, these games will help them to make that eye contact because they are being praised. They know that you want um, feedback and return demonstration for them to look at you and also engage and interact with you guys. Um, position yourself at eye level always with the child. And then when um, they begin to grasp hold to the concept of, hey, mommy wants me to look at her every time I call her, uh, every time she calls my name. And so with game number three, um, disguising your voice. And then also with game number four, um, waving or making a noise or being very exaggerative and um, enthusiastic so you can capture their attention. They're like, hey, what's going on? You're saying, Alea. And they're like, what? <laughs> and so they want to look and see where the noise is coming from. But they're also answering to their name by looking. So you reward. Even if they blink and peek at you for a second, still reward them because they have showed you that they are um, grasping hold to the concept of answering to their name. Um, so you guys, I hope these activities do work for you all. These are some activities that definitely have worked for Alea. And right now, um, she is three years old and we, I started initiating these things when I knew that she um, had autism and I began to learn the symptoms of autism. So you guys, um, they have definitely worked for us. She is definitely um, on a different level than what she was then. She do answer to her name now. She does make eye contact with me. And those were some things that I was definitely seeking in the beginning and trying to figure out ways that I can help her. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> Um, I could barely hold their attention for a very long time. So you guys, thank you so much and we will see you all next time. What you got? You playing with toys? Yeah, I see. You have a lot of stuff. Can you show mommy the sun? The sun is in the sky. And it, Good job, Alea. Where's the butterfly? Good job, Alea. Where's the fish? Good job, Alea. Where's the lion? Good job, Alea. High five, mama. Give me kissy food. Awesome.